what is the face of evil? What's it look like? And it looks like every other face that you see. It can be a kid that's dressed up in a black trench coat because he, he likes the goth lifestyle, or it can be the kid that was a, a sports star in high school. I'll never forget the day that Robert Yates, the Spokane serial killer, walked through our office. He was a family man, looked like someone's dad, someone's uncle. I followed him from the minute he came into my vision until the minute they walked out the door, trying to process and soak in, that's him, that's the man. We've seen all these bodies, we've seen all this carnage, and he's the one responsible for it, and he wasn't at all what I pictured. He wasn't this scary guy that, you know, hiding in the shadows, ready to lurch out at you, but he did. It can be anybody, you can't see it. I worry about people that think you can look in the eye and see a killer. Oh, his eyes were hollow, his eyes, his eyes aren't hollow, they look like everybody else's. And you can't see it, you can't hear it, they'll lie, they're very manipulative. And once you've seen it, you can maybe recognize it, but you can't predict it, you can't predict who it'll be next, you just, you just deal with it.